So oversteer and understeer, you hear those terms thrown around all the time, but what do they actually mean? So there's two skid conditions in a car. You've got oversteer and understeer. Can you explain what oversteer and understeer is? When is it advantageous to have oversteer or understeer? We're going to dissect this topic and help you to get to grips with the dynamics of car handling and car cornering. <laughs> So oversteer and understeer, you hear those terms thrown around all the time, but what do they actually mean? Well, we take first of all the most common thing that's built into modern cars, particularly the front wheel drive car, and that's understeer. So as you're going around a bend, you're steering the car, and understeer means that the car takes a wider trajectory than you would expect, so it tends to go wide. So why on earth would the manufacturer build that in? Well, it's safe for the, the other option of oversteer. It's easier to control a car that's in a state of understeer than it would be if it was oversteering. So if you're an inexperienced driver, it makes a lot of sense to build that into a car. It's safer, it's what most everyday people can cope with. So oversteer is what we see in the movies. That's where the back of the car goes wide. So the nose of the car on the corner would turn in sharper than you would expect. So you see that in the movies all the time and in video games and it looks really cool and drifters rely on it. But actually it's very, very hard to control. The amount of throttle that you use can make a big difference into how the car turns out and how it oversteers. And if you don't counter steer at the front the correct amount and at the correct time, the car will just spin out and spin out of control, which is quite dangerous to have that in a car that is in the hands of an inexperienced driver. So you will typically find cars that are rear wheel drive are more prone to oversteer. The power is coming from the back of the car and it tends to be that back of the car that loses traction far before the front. So various cars traction control systems and stability control systems can address both of those and maintain the car and maintain its cornering trajectory as best you can. And it's clever isn't it with technology you can improve on the potential physics of cornering a car. You've got a metal box with four wheels wheels and just by employing these clever electronic controls and devices it can corner at a much faster rate than it otherwise would have done and cars like the Nissan GTR are just phenomenal the way they distribute the power in cornering and giving the driver supreme control and feedback so they can make the adjustments necessary to catch the oversteer or the understeer as it happens it's a testament to modern engineering please subscribe to the channel make sure you don't miss out on those don't forget to stay tuned throw us up a like because that really helps us to get out there and please let me know in the comments what model you've got what you've done to it what mods worked and please let me know what you think of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video